Opal ester is a chemical and mechanical abrasion slurry used for the correction of superficial white, brown, or multicolored enamel defects, including fluorosis discoloration. Opal ester is for professional use only. Before beginning the procedure, determine and record a baseline shade. It is also recommended to take photographs for patient records. Because of the hydrochloric acid contained in opal luster, isolation is extremely important. Also, both you and your patient should wear protective eyewear. For additional patient comfort, apply a lip emollient prior to treatment. Apply the rubber dam attaching to the frame and inverting the dam at the gingival border. For additional protection, use orosil caulking to prevent tissue damage. Simply peel back the rubber dam to expose the tissue. Express a small amount on a pad first to check flow, then express a thin ribbon of orosil caulking beneath the rubber dam along the gingival margin to prevent leakage. Reattach the rubber dam to the frame and reinvert the rubber dam where needed. Alternatively, a light cured resin barrier such as opal dam can also be placed at the gingival margin prior to the procedure to prevent tissue damage. When using opal dam, express the resin to build a 2 mm strip along the gingival margins extending about 0.5 mm onto the enamel. Extend the resin beyond the last tooth to be treated. Where open embrasures exist, express resin through the opening onto the lingual gingival tissue. This will protect interdental papilla and lingual gingival tissue as well as add retention to the opal dam. Light cure the resin barrier using a pass-by cure. Take care to keep the light moving over soft tissues. Check the line access of each tooth for voids and add barrier if necessary. When applying opal luster, remove the lure lock cap from the opal luster syringe and securely attach the white MAC tip. Verify flow prior to intraoral placement. Apply approximately one millimeter thick layer over the discolored area. Using a rubber profi cup at a slow RPM, apply medium to heavy pressure for 60 seconds at a time. Suction the paste from the teeth first, then rinse. Evaluate and repeat as necessary. Reapplication can be conservative and limited to the areas requiring additional treatment. After the final rinse, remove the rubber dam and sealer from the teeth, then rinse thoroughly. Evaluate teeth and record the final shade. Take-home whitening products can be used pre- or post-op to blend and further whiten treated teeth. If the patient is experiencing any sensitivity, wait 24 hours before using take-home whitening products. Take post-op photographs to record the outcome. In this case, a single office visit resulted in significant improvements to the enamel. Contact your Ultradent representative for more information on Opal Luster and our entire menu of whitening treatments.